We must get out and tell the people on the doorsteps, in the towns, in the fields, in the trains, in the buses, in the queues, what the government has achieved, what it is going to do, and ladies and gentlemen, why? That is our duty that confronts us, front us. We must tell them the plain, stark facts. We must explain that no road to recovery is easy. We must remind them again of the underlying groundwork of our conservative philosophy, that our goal will never be reached if we are hampered by pettiness, dissension, and class hatred. It is a great responsibility with which we leave Scarborough today. It is the responsibility of making everyone in this country realize the duty that lies to their hand and at the same time showing to them with clarity and force how under conservative leadership their perils can be overcome. Ladies and gentlemen, Lord Walton, through me, makes only one request at the end of this conference. But that is indeed a high request, worthy, I believe, of the spirit that you have shown. It is the request that you will dedicate yourselves to this campaign to uphold the great traditions of our party. That will do more. The constant work I've endeavored to hold up as our ideal will do more to win supporters to our ranks than any propaganda. This is your opportunity to present the government's policy. And today, I sincerely believe that that is not a party stratagem or a political maneuver. I am asking you to dedicate yourselves to a national crusade to keep the peace and build a better Britain. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall go forth with determination in our spirit and we shall win through.